Hey everybody, Melon here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be finally finishing up a review of the X-Ray Pad Jade and Obsidian Dots Gates. Now, I apologize for this video being so delayed. I had planned on doing this video back in like late 2023, but I got a little busy with the holidays and all that kind of stuff, and I didn't want to put out a half-assed review of the product, so I decided to delay it until I had more time to do some more thorough testing, so that's why this video is a little late, so I appreciate you guys being so patient and waiting for me to finish this up. Now, before we get started with the review, I did want to quickly preface and say that I did purchase both the X-Ray Pad Jade and Obsidian Dots from X-Ray Pad. They were not sent by X-Ray Pad, so this video is not sponsored or endorsed by them in any way, shape, or form. Now, to be fully transparent with you guys, I do have an affiliate code or link with X-Ray Pad. However, it's not activated yet. I intentionally wanted to wait to activate it until I finish this review, so I will probably activate it at some point in the future. I will have the affiliate link linked in the description as well as a non-affiliate link for the products. If you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and use the affiliate link if I activate it by then, but this review is not going to be biased towards X-Ray Pad in any way, shape, or form, regardless of of promo codes free units that kind of stuff i will always remain unbiased you always get an honest opinion about the product you see on the channel here but with that out of the way let's go ahead and talk about the extra pad jade and obsidian skates and what make these skates so good Alrighty, let's start off with the pricing and product information so the extra pad jade and obsidian skates are available in a variety of pre-cut sets and a bunch of uh, universal options as well now the pre-cut sets are for most of the popular mice in the market so your gpx is your razor viper mini death adder v3 you name it and then there is also the universal dot skate options which are the ones i'm going to be looking at today the pre-cut sets retail for $9.99 USD, where the universal 6.5 millimeter dot sets are available for $9.90 USD for whatever reason they're 10 cents cheaper. Now, just like we've seen with a lot of X-Ray Pads products, you can often find them on sale on their website for a pretty hefty discount. So you can actually find the pre-cut and the universal skates often on sale on X-Ray Pads website for around $6.99 USD. Now, in terms of differences between the Jades and the Obsidians, the Jade skates are optimized for speeds. So these 100% PTFE skates that are optimized for speed, smooth glides, that kind of stuff. They don't have as much control as you'd see on other skates, but they are more speed optimized. Whereas the Obsidian skates are made out of hardened PTFE, which gives them a lot more more control and a lot more stopping power so you kind of have a yin and yang effect here where you have the extremely fast jades and then you have the more controlled obsidians all right now in terms of the unboxing experience both the jade and the obsidian skates whether you get the universal kits or the pre-cut kit comes with two alcohol wipes two adhesive removal wipes depending if you get pre-cuts or universal kits they may be split onto two separate sheets or more but from my case the universals come with two sheets with 20 skates on each sheet now one really cool attention to detail that extra pad has done here to prevent damage from the skates rubbing up against each other during the shipping process they've actually put a protective film over all the skates which is a really nice attention to detail there so there's a very very low chance your skates are going to come damaged out of the packaging which is fantastic to see from x-ray pad there overall the packaging is really nice no problems x-ray pads packaging has gotten significantly better when it was on the first set of skates i got from them a long time ago so i'm happy to see lots of improvement there all right now before i talk about the performance of the x-ray pad jade and obsidian skates i did want to make a couple of clarifications here so while i have the universal kits if you have the pre cut sets there's going to be some pretty large differences between how these skates perform due to the surface area of these skates it will vary heavily depending from mouse to mouse some of them are faster some of them are slower there's a lot of variability there i'm just going to be giving a generalization of how the skates perform but they may not perform exactly like mine do because i'm using significantly lower surface area skates as opposed to a pre-cut set or any other set you find on the market if you happen to pick up the universal dot set skates if you put on six skates or so and you find that mouse is too fast for you control you have two options of what you can do you can either adjust your sensitivity or you can add on more dots dots are really nice because you have the ability to add on more to increase the surface area and thus the control with pre-cuts you don't really have an option to do that you just have a preset amount of surface area and control out of the box with dots you have a lot more variability to that so if you do end up getting the universal skates and you find it's a little too fast and too hard to control specifically on the jades you can go ahead and add on more skates to increase your surface area to make the experience a little more controlled now dot skates do have some other unique advantages in terms of performance as opposed to traditional pre-cut skates but i'm going to be talking about that in another video in the future for today i'm just going to talk about how the obsidian and jade skates perform individually against each other now in terms of testing methodology what i did here for the jade and obsidian dots is i put them both on my keychron m3 mini one case which was the exact same weight i had them both installed with seven skates on each there was no variance in terms of different number of skates and i tested them both at 40 centimeter per 360 at 1600 dpi one millimeter lod motion sync enabled at 1000 hertz 
And what I did is I basically just grabbed every single pad I owned and I did a bunch of runs on Kovacs intro snare between the two skates on each of those individual pads to get a rough idea of how the performance was. Now I have done a lot of other additional testing for these dots on other mice, but I did them on other mice with different weights. I wanted to have for this video a comparison for one for one. So a lot of my data is coming from the one for one comparison between my two M3 Mini 1Ks. All right, let's first up, let's talk about the Obsidian skates. Now the Obsidians were the most universal skate in my opinion. They worked flawlessly on every single mouse pad I thread it control speed hybrid glass ceramic plastic you name it they performed exceptionally well across the board they were just an incredibly consistent skate that were just very controlled great stopping power they just felt overall really really well i've actually set a lot of pbs on kovacs using a lot of my older mice with the obsidian dots like the vaxi np ones and a bunch of other mice so the obsidians are definitely a favorite for me they're just the most universal and the best performing in my opinion so far one other really cool benefit about the obsidian skates is because they are hardened ptfe they are a lot more resistant to wear so they do last a lot longer than your traditional softer 100% PTFE skates so if you want a set of skates that are going to have a lot more longevity and also last a really long time on harder surfaces like glass plastic and resin or ceramic the obsidians are a really good option for that now I will note there is one oddity about the obsidians I did want to quickly clarify. When you use them on hard surfaces, specifically ceramic and glass, I did notice that they are very, very loud. And this is because of their hardened PTFE nature, which is something to expect if you use really hard skates like gem or glass on a glass pad, it's going to be extremely loud. You have the exact same thing here with the obsidians where there is a lot of audio feedback. They do work really well, but they are definitely very loud. So if you're very sensitive to the high audio feedback from glass pads with certain skates, the obsidians may not be the best bet for this. I would would recommend checking out the obsidian pros which i will be covering in a future review because those are optimized for glass pads get subscribed so you don't miss my review of that coming out in a little bit now when it comes to the x-ray pad jade skates i actually really did like the jades but unfortunately they weren't nearly as universal as the obsidians were due to their nature they don't work as well on every single type of pad they did perform exceptionally well on hybrid and control and plastic mouse pads but they did perform very poorly on glass speed pads and other kind of hard pads now obviously that makes sense because a very fast surface on a fast surface is generally not the greatest but on top of that because they are 100% PTFE they do wear a lot faster on harder surfaces so they don't have nearly as long of a lifespan as the obsidians do and they aren't nearly as universal now I will say I really did like the jades for control pads they worked exceptionally well on those ones even for more precise games like Valorant I really did like the jades on those I do generally think the jades are still very very good skates they're just a lot more situational than the obsidians which are pretty much completely universal from my testing the jades work extremely well on some pads like they do work very very well they're just very situational which just kind of hamper them in comparison to the universability of the obsidian skates now one other thing that gives the obsidians the edge over the jade skates is in terms of reusability unfortunately because the jades are the softer ptfe material if you try to take them off of the bottom of the mouse most of the time you actually peel the skate away from the adhesive not the adhesive away from the base of your mouse whereas the obsidian because the hardened ptfe has a lot better grip on the actual adhesive itself you can actually reuse the obsidians a lot more frequently than you can the jades Sometimes you can get lucky with the jades if you take them off very slowly, but it's a lot harder where the obsidians, you can pretty much reuse them as many times as you want until the adhesive finally gives out. So that is another advantage over the jades where the obsidians are significantly more usable. If you buy a pre-cut set for a certain mouse and that mouse breaks and you want to move to a new mouse, there's a very good chance you can take the obsidians and put it on that new mouse. With the jades, unfortunately, you will most likely probably have to buy a new set. It would be nice to see if X-Ray Pad can maybe fix this issue on the jade skates and maybe make them a little more reusable. That'd be nice to see for a future version but that is one other area where the obsidians do have an edge over the of jade skates all right well that is pretty much it for my review of the extra pad jaded obsidian skates i know this review is a little shorter than a lot of the other ones i've done but this being my first kind of delved into universal skates and dot skates particularly i wanted to make a brief video on this one i will be making a video on how dot skates do have a lot of benefits over stock skates and that kind of stuff in the future so get subscribed so you don't miss that i will also have a video of extra pads upcoming donut jade and obsidian skates and the obsidian pros coming up on the channel so once I'm done testing on those I will also have reviews on that so get subscribed so you don't miss those but overall the jade and the obsidian skates from x-ray pad are fantastic offerings if you are in the market for a set of aftermarket skates I highly recommend you check them out again the obsidians are my personal favorite just because I'm using so many different mouse pads it's nice to have a skate that's universal across all of them but if you are someone who does like speedier skates and does use very soft or very controlled pads the jades may be just for you because they do perform very very well on those kinds of pads so definitely check them out if you're in the market for it thank you again for watching I greatly appreciate it. As always, I will have products linked down in the description. I will have my affiliate link marked separately. So if you don't want to touch the affiliate link, you can use the regular one. So I'll have that there for you as well. But that is everything for today. Thank you again for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.